Imagine standing on the brink of a journey, not through unknown lands, but into the vast, unexplored territory of your own essence. In this video, we will embark together on an expedition to the heart of loneliness, not as a final destination of isolation, but as a portal to self-knowledge, renewal, and a deeper connection with life. Armed with the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, we will unveil how to transform loneliness from a feared state into an inexhaustible source of strength. Prepare to reassess everything you thought you knew about being alone and discover how, through reflection and self-respect, we can find not just peace, but a profound and lasting joy in our own company. Join us on this transformative journey and unlock the secrets to a richer and more authentic life. This is the moment to turn the page and start a new chapter. Are you ready for the journey? Transforming the perception of loneliness. In our relentless quest for connection and understanding, we often encounter a horizon that, at first glance, seems desolate. Loneliness. But what if we ventured beyond first impressions? What if, in the shadows of loneliness, we found not emptiness, but a space brimming with potential for self-discovery and transformation? Aristotle, with his keen insight into human nature, reminds us that knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. In this context, loneliness presents itself not as a chasm of isolation, but as a silent invitation to introspection. But how can we reconcile this perspective with the prevailing notion that loneliness is inherently negative, a state to be avoided at all costs? Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor, offers us a clue. In his meditation on the ephemeral nature of existence, he suggests that true strength lies in our ability to face and accept loneliness, not as a curse but as an opportunity, the opportunity to delve into the depths of our being, confront our most intimate fears, and emerge not just intact but transformed. So, what does it mean then to embrace loneliness? It means recognizing that, in the quiet and temporary detachment from the social whirlwind, we can find rare clarity, a clarity that illuminates our passions, our deepest desires, and our insecurities. It is in this space of reflection that we can question not only who we are, but who we wish to be. Seen in this light, loneliness becomes a strict yet generous teacher. It challenges us to look beyond the mirror of social self-awareness and discover the authenticity that resides in our essence. This process can be uncomfortable, even painful, but it is through this discomfort that growth is possible. And what about the sadness often associated with loneliness? Could it be, in many cases, a symptom of a deeper disconnection, not with others, but with ourselves? By exploring loneliness, we can begin to heal this disconnection, building bridges of understanding and empathy that first connect us to ourselves and, by extension, to the world around us. Therefore, far from being a state to be feared, loneliness offers the key to a richer, more authentic life. A life where self-knowledge and personal growth are possible, not despite loneliness, but because of it. And if we embrace this perspective, perhaps we can begin to see loneliness not as a sign of lack, but as a sign of fullness a sacred space where the true self can flourish. In summary, loneliness, when viewed through the eyes of wisdom and understanding, reveals itself not as a desert, but as a garden rich in possibilities. And in this garden, beneath the deafening silence of our own company, we find the promise of a rebirth, the promise of becoming all that we are capable of being. Confronting loneliness in a constantly connected world. In a world where digital connectivity is as omnipresent as the air we breathe, a paradox as palpable as it is unsettling emerges. Loneliness amidst hyperconnection. How can we feel so isolated in an era where everyone is just a click away? 
The answer, though complex, can be found in the timeless wisdom of philosophers and deep reflection on the nature of true connection. Pascal, with his unparalleled insight, observed that all of man's misfortunes stem from one cause, his inability to stay quietly in his own room. This observation resonates with eerie accuracy in our digital age. We are constantly seeking distraction, avoiding loneliness at all costs, without realizing that, in this process, we might be distancing ourselves from the only connection that truly matters, the connection with ourselves. But what does it really mean to connect with oneself? And why is this connection so crucial in the quest to overcome loneliness? The answer can be found in the concept of introspection. Introspection, the deep dive into the internal waters of our thoughts, emotions and desires, is the first step towards understanding who we really are. Without this understanding, any external connection loses its depth, becoming nothing more than a superficial interaction. Thoreau, in his quest for simplicity and depth of life, chose to isolate himself in the forest, distancing himself from society to connect more deeply with himself and with nature. He discovered that loneliness is not the absence of company, but the moment when our soul is free to speak to itself without the interference of the external world. In his words, we find a forgotten truth. That true connection begins with a sincere encounter with our inner self. In this context, Digital hyperconnection presents itself as a noisy distraction, a noise that prevents us from hearing the whispers of our own soul. We are so busy broadcasting, sharing and consuming that we forget to stop and listen. To listen not just in the auditory sense, but in the sense of being truly present with ourselves, allowing loneliness to reveal not emptiness, but the fullness of our being. So how can we transform loneliness from a feared enemy into a valued ally? It starts with acceptance, accepting loneliness as an essential part of the human condition and a sacred space for personal growth. Instead of running from it, we can embrace it, recognizing that in moments of quietude and isolation, we find the seeds of true self-knowledge and understanding. Kierkegaard's wisdom reminds us that despair is the price we pay for self-awareness. Looking inward can be uncomfortable, even painful, but it is only by facing this discomfort that we can begin to build bridges of authentic understanding, first with ourselves and consequently with others. Therefore, confronting loneliness in a constantly connected world is not a paradox, but a path to true freedom. A freedom that comes from understanding that the most meaningful connection we can have is the one we cultivate within us. And by embracing loneliness, we open the doors to a life of greater depth, authenticity and, paradoxically, connection. Stoic Practices for Dealing with Loneliness In our ongoing exploration of loneliness and how we can transform it from a feared state into an enriching experience, we now turn to the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. This philosophy, with its deep roots in antiquity, offers a practical guide for cultivating a healthy relationship with loneliness, embracing it as an integral component, not just of self-discovery, but of a fully lived life. First, let's consider the practice of learning to enjoy one's own company, a fundamental pillar of Stoicism. Imagine yourself as a valued guest on the journey of your own life. How would you treat yourself? With hospitality, for sure. Preparing a nutritious meal for yourself. Setting aside time for your favorite activities. Or simply sitting in silence, appreciating your own presence, are acts of self-hospitality that the Stoics advocate for. Epictetus reminds us that we should treat ourselves with the same respect and care that we would reserve for an esteemed visitor, for, in the end, we are both the hosts and guests of our existence. 
Following this line, the importance of maintaining a clean and orderly living space emerges not just as an act of self-care, but as an external manifestation of self-respect. The Stoics, with their emphasis on virtue and control over what is internally governable, see in the care of the physical environment a metaphor for the care of the internal self. Seneca, with his characteristic eloquence, might encourage us to view our living space as a temple for the spirit, a place where order and cleanliness reflect the state of our soul. Stoic practice also deeply values constructive and gentle internal dialogue. Marcus Aurelius, in his Meditations, emphasizes the importance of cultivating thoughts that are allies, not enemies. In moments of loneliness, it's easy to fall into destructive self-criticism, but the Stoics teach us to reflect with kindness, to recognize our faults not as insurmountable defects, but as opportunities for growth. This internal dialogue is not an exercise in self-deception, but one of compassionate honesty, always seeking to improve, always aligned with our highest version of ourselves. Finally, Stoic philosophy encourages us to see loneliness not as an emptiness to be filled, but as a door to a deeper connection with the universe. Through contemplation and introspection, we can begin to feel a unity with nature and humanity, realizing that we are all interconnected in the great tapestry of existence. This perception, far from isolating us, expands our understanding of community and belonging teaching us that every moment of loneliness is, in fact, an opportunity to feel closer to everything that exists. Thus, armed with these stoic practices and mindsets, we can approach loneliness not as a misfortune, but as a sacred moment of connection and growth. We can learn to cherish our own company, to care for our physical and internal space with love and respect to speak to ourselves with kindness and understanding, and to recognize our inherent unity with the world around us. In doing so, loneliness ceases to be a specter to be feared and transforms into an invitation to depth, reflection, and ultimately, wisdom. Challenges and rewards of loneliness in modern life. Navigating the complex waters of modern life, many of us find in loneliness a constant companion. At first glance, this companion may seem daunting, even frightening, with its imposing and silent presence. Yet, as we look closer, through a stoic lens, we begin to realize that loneliness carries with it unique rewards, transforming from a feared adversary into a valuable ally in the journey of self-discovery and personal growth. Loneliness, with its sharp and defined contours, challenges us to confront ourselves, to dive into the depths of our soul without the constant noise of modern distractions. It is in this silence, often uncomfortable, that we find the opportunity to hear our own thoughts, to face our insecurities and fears. But what do we gain from this confrontation? Plato, with his immortal wisdom, reminds us of the importance of self-knowledge, stating that an unexamined life is not worth living. In this context, loneliness becomes our most faithful companion of reflection, offering us the clarity of thought needed to examine and re-examine our lives under a new light. But the journey doesn't end here. As we become familiar with loneliness, we start to tread the path of self-acceptance. Epictetus, the resilient Stoic, teaches us that serenity comes from accepting the things we cannot control, while striving to improve what is within our reach. In loneliness, we learn to accept ourselves, with all our imperfections and peculiarities, recognizing that perfection is an illusion and that true growth lies in acceptance and the constant effort to be better than we were yesterday. Beyond clarity of thought and self-acceptance, loneliness gifts us with a deeper appreciation of life's small joys. Seneca, with his sharp insight, advises us to live each moment fully, reminding us that happiness is not found in grand achievements or ephemeral pleasures, 
but in the simple joys of everyday life. In the quiet of loneliness, the small joys, whether it's the song of a bird, the taste of a meal made with love, or the warmth of a sunbeam, become amplified, filling our hearts with gratitude and wonder. Therefore, by embracing loneliness, we not only face the challenges it presents, but also open ourselves to the rewards it brings. Loneliness, far from being a state to be avoided, reveals itself as a sacred space of self-knowledge, acceptance and appreciation of life's wonders. And, as we walk side by side with this silent companion, we discover that, even in the loneliest moments, we are never truly alone, for we carry with us the rich tapestry of our thoughts, emotions and experiences. Thus, armed with stoic wisdom, we can face loneliness not as a burden, but as a gift, an invitation to reflection, growth and ultimately liberation. Practical Application of Stoicism to Everyday Life We now embark on the final stage of our journey of self-discovery and growth, armed with the ancient wisdom of Stoicism. This is not just an invitation, but a vibrant call to reassess our relationship with loneliness, not as a chasm to be avoided, but as fertile ground for strength, renewal, and a deeper connection with the essence of who we are. How can we, then, apply stoic principles to our daily lives, transforming our approach to loneliness and, by extension, our existence? Stoicism teaches us to differentiate between what is and what is not within our control. Let's start by accepting loneliness as an inevitable part of the human condition, something that, at some point, everyone experiences. But instead of resisting it, how about embracing it as an opportunity? An opportunity for silence, for reflection, for meeting oneself. As Epictetus said, it is not events themselves that disturb us, but our interpretation of these events. So how about reinterpreting loneliness not as a sentence, but as an invitation to introspection? The Stoic practice doesn't stop there. It encourages us to maintain an internal dialogue that promotes a positive self-image and combats destructive self-criticism. Marcus Aurelius, a master of self-examination, advises us to be kind to ourselves in our thoughts. In moments of loneliness, when self-criticism becomes louder, let's remember to speak to ourselves as we would to a dear friend, with compassion, understanding and encouragement. Furthermore, Stoicism teaches us the value of self-care and self-respect, reminding us that our body is the temple of our spirit. A clean and orderly space, a body cared for with attention and respect, are external reflections of our internal state. As Seneca reminds us, taking care of oneself is a form of self-respect, a physical manifestation of our inherent dignity. And now, a call to action, an invitation to turn theory into practice. How about we start today to apply these stoic principles to our approach to loneliness? Let's cultivate a space of silence and reflection, engage in gentle and compassionate self-dialogue, and treat our body and space with the care they deserve. By doing this, we are not just facing loneliness, we are transforming it into a source of strength, renewal, and a deeper connection with ourselves. In summary, by looking at loneliness through the lens of Stoicism, we discover it can be a powerful teacher, a guide to a life of greater meaning, well-being and purpose. This is the invitation before us, to reassess our relationship with loneliness, to embrace it as a path to self-knowledge and personal growth. In doing so, we find not just peace in loneliness, we discover the joy of a life lived in fullness, rich in connection and purpose. And thus, armed with stoic wisdom, we move forward, ready to transform every moment of loneliness into a step on the journey towards a richer and more authentic existence.
If you've made it this far, you're different from the rest. You're seeking knowledge in a world where most are distracted by superficial things. Show that you're different and join us. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have something to say, leave your opinion in the comments. Otherwise, write, I am here, so I know you've made it this far. Until next time, warrior.